All right, y'all, this is how you pack when you're going to Waco, Texas. I don't know what to bring. I don't know how warm it's going to be, how cold. I got no clue. I got pool surfing. I got lakes. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to have fun. That's the moral of the story. So this is how I pack. I just grabbed uh, two, three wetsuits, travel rod. There's a travel reel in there, some wax, a bunch of clothes. I got a new rod over there at Bass Pro. I'll show you this once we figure out where we're fishing but super pumped on that it folds up got some fishing gear in there and there's my brand new board bag so basically what we're gonna do is just throw everything in the board bag pack up the boards real good get on down to texas surf in a pool i got some tricks up my sleeve we're gonna search out some ponds try and get some bass some crappie something but saturday afternoon we'll be doing some fun fishing hopefully they chew see you down there here we go i gotta pack all this stuff up now so yeah we got uh we got some work to do towels i would think back here like you can't go with me honey sorry baby cat never use this stuff these boards are like i mean brand scooting new throw some shorts in here, here we go see this one on this one's sick look at this one See the, see the traction pad? This thing's sick, man. Is that new? Yeah. Like recent? Yeah. All right. I right, still gotta put all that fishing gear in there. Well, looking good. Okay. I think we can probably tuck this. It's a bold initiative. To try. Tuck this up in here. We should be good. Oh yeah. Gold. If we just go like that, and we'll put one on this side. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Gold, okay, yeah, like that. Real. I might just bring the one reel actually. Okay. We'll go jeans. Bunch of shirts. I'll go get in there. Spinner bait. Another spinner bait. A pair of skizzers. And we got some worm hooks thing a line and we got let's see i got some lizards more lizards and then my old faithful motor oil put them in here maybe yeah in there rambo get out of there huh? all right y'all look pretty good so got our clothes got our fishing gear we got our surf stuff so i just gotta pack the camera equipment and uh I think that's it. Plan is I gotta work till 7 p.m. tomorrow. I'm driving to Collingswood, New Jersey. I'm gonna meet my mom there, and then she's gonna take me to the Philly airport. So I'll be staying at the Marriott, and uh, it's cool, super cool there. My flight's like 6.30 a.m. But what's nice there is you just wake up, you walk right across, and you're at the gate. So that's the plan, so. Let's see, super pump. Man. All right, y'all, pretty cool. Morning one. I'm exhausted, it's around 5 a.m. War bag, it's only 30 bucks. Come on. Other than that, uh, once we get up out. All right, y'all, just landed in Texas. Uh, here's gonna be my chariot for the next few days. I upgraded to a little SUV. I brought way more stuff than I thought. So what I'm probably gonna do is take all the boards out and uh, fold that down, put the boards in there. And I'll kind of live out of my truck and put with it either, whatever you call this thing. So. Close over there. I'll have to inspect further, but so far the first one looks good. Just roll this one over. Second one looks and feels good. See if my fishing rod made it. Oh yeah, so far so good there. Fishing rod made it. Pumped. Put that in there. So we are all packed up. So we got about a two hour ride ahead of us down to Waco. We'll check out the wave pool, get settled. One hotel nearby Waco tonight and then surf tomorrow. And then my brother's house Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. And then back to the wave pool, staying there Monday, Tuesday night. So hopefully I surf good. Let's see. Everything in Texas is bigger. So uh, everywhere seems like it's a two hour drive. So we'll see. It's warm and sunny, guys. So. 
Here we go. We're leaving the airport uh, right about now. I need more caffeine. I need a Celsius. I need some coffee. Got the iPhone charger. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some caffeine now. Uh, Albertsons. Never heard of it. Super warm down here, but it's super windy. It's legit blowing like 30 knots. So the wind followed me, of course. Got me a big old Starbucks. Celsius. Let's see. I don't know. Some kind of pear. Got a monster. Let's get our energy on and keep on rolling, baby. Y'all, yeah, we made it. Look at all the cars. Crazy. This place is so cool. Really fun. We got a little artificial beach. And then that's a private section out there. So those kids are probably pros, I imagine. Really neat. Oh, we did it there. Super nervous right now. We'll see. Surf's good in Costa Rica, so hopefully I surf good here. All right, y'all. Session one in the book. That was awesome. I surfed really pretty good, actually. So pumped. So pumped. One more session today. Two more tomorrow. Two on Monday. Three on Tuesday. I'm back, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, third session, day two. Super awesome. I got some video, but I don't know. My phone kept blowing over. I don't know. I need a videographer. So we just had some storms roll through. The rain's letting up now. I got Brady with me, my little brother. So we're gonna drive either 30 minutes or 20 minutes to a lake, see if we can't get some bass or crappie, something like that. So I'll see y'all on the on the little adventure we got planned here. I'm so excited. And then uh, definitely see you Saturday. What do you think, Brady? Super pumped. Cheers. Let's say Maverick Goose. Bring back that love and feel. <laughs> it was 12 bucks. Yeah, it works. We'll video on the uh, the farmland that we're going through. I don't know. I don't even know where we are. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know, team. We're having a grape session in here, my brother and I, and we're driving through Cal Calville. It's Where pretty cool. The sun. Yeah. Hopefully the sun comes out. All right, guys. It's still raining. Showed up at this first spot. Uh, water looks really murky. I thought there was a bait shop here. I wanted to just kind of show up and talk to the guy or girl and get some ideas, uh, but I think I went to the wrong lake. <laughs> like really murky. Yoo-hoo, Mark. It's not looking good. All right, y'all, just talked to the boys over there doing some maintenance. They said right off this pier and then right off this point, they said catfish and copy. And there's a place right around the corner where I think I can get minnows and some cut bait. So maybe we'll see if we can buy a rod or something and, uh, you know, put one on the bottom and then a live bait. So we'll see. I found the bait shop. Brad's in on a meeting. Hopefully we're muted or they're gonna hear a YouTube video, but here we go. It's called Lake Stop. They sell fuel, uh, cold sandwiches, specialty meat and cheeses. I'm sure they have fried chicken and uh, live bait, fresh patty burgers and and, uh, and fishing supplies. So let's see what we can find here. Lake Stop. And you can buy some hemp if you want to. <laughs> I love Texas. So we're gonna need one of those, we'll get another rod. Okay. Catfish meat, okay. Shrimp, shad, liver, worms. What should I get? All right, y'all, 134 bucks later. We got some live minis. Let's get them They're aerated. Okay. They look good. Yeah. I got a Zebco special. All right, so we gotta get these minis in the bucket. Hopefully I don't mess this up. All right, got that. And then I bought an aerator. So we got minnows, we got liver, we got like processed liver, catfish baits, and then some small little shad. And worms, and worms. Everything eats a worm. Put that there. It's not working. It's working. All right, we're aerating. Pump. Now you gotta keep this up front yeah. and not spill it. You're that guy. Right. Now we gotta go find a good spot. They said the murky water, and they said East Texas is always like that, so what do I know? All right, so there's definitely catfish here because there's a couple of dead ones. No, dude, they look like someone filleted them.
this great team. I think at this point my little brother's like, oh, God, another Chris adventure. Guys, I've drug him through the ringer so many times. Rain, wind, snow, God only knows since we were young. Out in the canyon at night in a 32-foot twin outboard boat with no radar, no visibility, caught in a fog storm. Oh, God, I've drug him through so many silly adventures. So, let this thaw. Now we're gonna try one of these to start, so I, don't, I have no idea. So, catfish, Charlie, wild cat, chicken liver, pre-molded. The Zebco special, okay? All, the only way I could find is on this silly, like, silly weight thing on a wire, makeshift leader, a little circle hook, and some of this bait. I don't even know how to cast this silly thing. But I'm having fun, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Oh, hit there. All right, y'all, here we go. Sun's, sun's coming out. Just pulling this other one up that I brought with me. Worm on a friggin' hook, let's see. It's gotta be something out there, right? Oh, something just jumping. Where at, bud? Right there. What? Jumping, little fishy. Where? Right there, right by my bait. Oh, yeah. Good shot. I think I had a bite. Yeah, sure, okay. Had a bite. I love it. Nope. You're so fun. Well, I'm going one. Yeah, I'm going to get one on my Oh yeah, he's cool. More chum. All right, let's try these chicken livers. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's a fish. Oh my god, it's a fish. That's totally a fish. Guys, look at that. If that's not a fish, I don't know what is. That's a fish. We're totally gonna catch a catfish. Now. There's got to be a big, major catfish out there. I should be able to get some distance here. Right off. No. Oh. <laughs> Threw it right off the hook. Chucked it right off the hook, man. I think you got to tie him or something. Like a clam tie. What a jerk. That's a fish. They're here. Alright, guys. Nice lively mini. Sail them out there. To the depths. To the depths. Wait, where's the shad at? You leave them over there? Yeah, there's nothing on the dock. You sure? Yeah, there should be a whole bag of fish. Maybe. Come on, damn it. Oh, Brett sees a snake. Where at, bud? Oh, this one on well, Brett just told me there's copperheads here. That, oh, that can't be good. This looks better. I mean, look, we got a little brush here, some cattails. Maybe I'll put even like back some more of that. I got some. I got a crappie. Brad, I got a crappie. Let's got some. Go ahead. I got a crappie. I got a crappie. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's a tank. That's a tank crappie. Oh my god. Look at the size yeah, of that thing. It's a beast. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he ate the hell out of it. Oh no. Oh my god, he swallowed it. Look at that chunker of a crappie. Wow. Look at that mouth. Let's go! Where there's one crappie, there's more crappie. The team, that's a white crappie. I never caught that before. So cool. Alright guys, this is trekkers. This is trekkers. We got snakes all around us. Something big just came up right there. I don't know. It's kind of gnarly. Lake Maxia. Apparently it's like really good. There are predominant fish species, largemouth bass, white bass, crappie, channel and blue catfish. Yeah. This channel catfish, angling opportunity, excellent. Yeah. Crappie, good. White yeah. bass, fair. Largemouth bass, fair. Blue catfish, fair. Sunfish, poor. It's a very turbid, shallow lake. Right. And the majority of good habitat is in the lower end of the lake. Boat docks, piers, and shallow aquatic vegetation hold these fish year round. I mean, any bridge will be yeah. is good structure, you know? 
It says most caught species, largemouth, channel cat, white crop, and blue crop. Freshwater trout? Yeah, that, I was reading about that. They said, though, they died off it's 20 feet. in some rain. All right, here we go. One fish coming up. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God, it's a fish. Oh, my God, it's a fish. I can't believe we haven't had any bites on the bottom. Like, that's wild. Get off of there. Get. I got the. Oh, I got. Uh, I thought I had it off. <laughs> All right, y'all. So just, uh, just the one crappie there. That was a white crappie. The biggest crappie I ever caught. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I have to check my memory. But anyway. And then I had one more bite. Brett had a bite on the catfish rod, but that was it. So we're scoping out this other bridge and we're trying to get away from the wing because it's cranking. So we'll see. See, it's spot two. Oh, this is it. This oh, is this one. is it. This is the spot. It's kind of oh my God, look. It's this is so fishy. This is beyond fishing. No fishing from bridge, but we can fish right. near said bridge. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Dude, it's so fishy right there. This is where you want to be. All right, this is where we want to be. Hopefully the sheriff don't come. Now, sheriff. Sure. Look, dude, there's brush back here too. All right, guys, here we go. New spot. I'm super confident here. Oh, there's something dead right there. Something huge dead. Whoa. Dude, that's a snake right there. Oh, Where? Dude, that was definitely a copperhead. Where? Oh, he just went. He went from under that fucking shit. Oh. oh, dude, that was definitely a copperhead. Copperhead. 100%. All right, let's not die. 100%. That okay, Brady. Brady saw a copperhead. Let's not, That's what they look like. let's not get dead. I would think like as close to the bridge as we can get is the best. So I was thinking this other side. I'll just climb down here, look. Yeah. Just hung out on that riprap. Where? Oh, he's in the water now. You keep seeing all the snakes. Can you hear him? No. Two tones. It looks like that. Oh That's my exactly goodness. What it was. They will mess yeah, you the up, The other dude. one was not. I think that was just like a, a water snake. Let's it's try that. Snapping right away. Could be a little deeper here. Might be. Alright guys, we're gonna go over here and we're also gonna try and not get bit by a copperhead. So that would be bad, I think. I think that would be bad. Whoa, something big right there. Something big right there. This can't be good. This can't be good. This can't be smart. You think this is the bridge? No. I don't think this is considered the bridge. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, we're gonna get one right here. We're gonna get one right here. It's no longer lively, is he? All right, y'all, we're approaching fourth quarter and no timeouts. Uh, let's see. But I think we found the old bridge. This is what the guy was talking about. Crappie, down deep, because it's deep, and there's gotta be catfish here. Look at all the structure. Let's go, Brady, let's get them. Channel here we cats. Go. Channel cats. That's a channel. Right. Channel cats. Oh, oh, let's go. Here we go. We're gonna go real lengthy now on this. Yeah. Let the mini get going deep. Something like that, maybe. All right, here we go. Where should I go? The old bridge. Old bridge, I'm thinking. That was horrible. Horrible. Honestly, you really probably want to be as close to these pilings as possible. It's good though that there's bait here. We have bait structure. Like I said, that spinner bait might not be a bad idea actually. Well, there's more bait around. A lot of bait. Oh, I got bit. I got bit. I got bit. Come on, baby. Eat it. See it? I got bit. Alright, we got a little pattern. Oh, I got oh, bit again. I got bit again, right? Yeah. There it is. No, we missed it. Too big, maybe. Yeah, maybe a smaller minnow. Crappie eat worms. Just like that. No more bites. Swirl there. Oh, that was a good swirl there. Dude, I mean, we got bait fish all around us. I don't understand. Look at this. I bet if we had a cast net, I could cast net those shad, then we'd get our catfish. I don't understand. I don't understand. There we go. There we go. I'm in. There it is. I'm in. I'm in, baby. I got him. I got you. 
They're off. They're off the bridge. Oh, I got a cat. What the hell? That's one of those drum. Dude, it is. That's one of those drum things. <laughs> yes. Let's go. No, that's one of those freshwater drum. Dude, guys, this is, I think, what's called a freshwater drum. I was reading about these things. It's totally croaking. How cool is that? It looks like a croaker back home. Wow. Hear him? Yeah, it's cool, yeah. Can't really hear him, but. No, I heard him. All right. Fresh water drop. Get back there, buddy. It's awesome. Yes. 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 Biggest white crappie ever and a freshwater drum. Wow. Okay. And surfing in a pool in Texas. Yeah, let it sit there. There's got to be something on the bottom. Not only that, too, those drum feed on the bottom. Whoa, look at that. That was cool. Yeah. That was a crappie or a bass. Oh, there's that snake again. Look at him. Aggressive little sucker. Get out of here. Look at him. Snake. Oh, dude, he's bigger than I thought. Oh, we could probably get to the other side of this bridge, too. Right? Let's try that real quick, and then we'll get out of here. You gonna make a couple casts, too, Brad, or no? Uh, no, I'm probably good. Okay. I'll bring this bait and just toss it. I grab those minis. Oh, dude, this is gonna work. Right under the bridge piling. All right, here we go. Oh, look, and there's a little brush there, too. Okay. All right, snakes, I'm coming down. I'm coming down, snakes. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. <laughs> Bunch of bait fish right there. Look at them. Oh, my God. Loaded with bait in here. See the minnow go flying? All right, we're done. Let's go. All right, y'all, I think the fishing adventure is over. We got to get back to the wave pool. We had a blast. Couple of bites, only caught two fish, but super fun. So, till tomorrow. tomorrow. More fishing coming up. So excited. All right, y'all, stand by for the next episode where we get into some freshwater striped bass action. We do a little bit more surfing. But the next video is going to be sick, absolutely insane, landlocked striped bass. So check it out. All right, y'all, check out this Gatorade. I haven't seen this since I was a kid. <laughs> it's delicious. Um, I, I don't know. Your phone's going to get ruined, so I just grabbed it.